Hey guys, I wanted to create this quick video to show you how you can insert a image or a drawing right here. So um, I put this little, these little words here. Remember, you can go to the top of this page and use the tab insert to insert a drawing. So here I am with my cursor flashing. I can go up here to insert and I can go down to the third option where it says drawing and I can go to new and then this screen pops up and when this screen pops up I get to add a drawing so let's say I want to put in a rectangle so I go over here to the little shape icon I click on it and I choose a rectangle I take my rectangle I draw it as long as I want to there it is now let's just say you don't like that it's blue. You can come up here and you can change it. I prefer for mine to be transparent, meaning no color. So I'm gonna click that. I also prefer for mine to have really thick lines. So I'm also gonna change that. I like the four. So I put that and I hit save and close. That rectangle is gonna pop up on my screen. So here's my rectangle. Now I can do what it says, draw a rectangle with three eighths of it shaded. So here's my rectangle. I'm gonna go to edit, and I showed you guys this on Friday's video. I can add my lines. I can come up here and I can add lines to make this rectangle be eighths. So I can change, I can put a line in it. So this little dot tells me this is the middle. Eight is an even number, so I always cut it in the middle first. I also, like I told you, I like my lines thick. So there's my first cut. You can keep doing that and then shade the um, rectangles the way that I showed you. Let's just say we're doing one half because I'm not gonna do the work for you, of course. So you would choose the curvy line and this would be your um, shaded part. So let's say I wanted to make one half, you click it, click, go up and click, down and click, up and down, up and down, Whoop. forgot to click, 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 and I do that and then I can go up here and I can change it to where it's really thick. Well, I need the whole thing to be really thick, but that's okay. Keep going. I can change it to be thicker if I don't make it separate. And then I can also change the color of the line whenever I am on it. So I can fill it in and that could be my shaded part. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just wanted to show you how to insert a drawing and then it comes back as being shaded. I'll understand that this is your shaded part. So that is just one way that you can draw your rectangle and show three eighths of it shaded on this particular section. Okay. All right.